Holy crap, guys, we're live! Hello, everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Common, and we're playing some more RimWorld! Ah, uh, if you missed the last episode, you missed that, that pile of dead mechs. Uh, actually, not all of them are dead, but whatever, the point's the same. We we somehow managed to survive without taking any damage. Um, we kind of learned, uh, we're learning more and more how to actually, like, uh, what's it called? Um, um, um cheat the AI essentially uh, we're basically we can kind of I mean what we ended up doing is we had who was it uh, Oz did really good damage he had some grenades on him and he was just able to kind of like hide behind the walls and throw the grenades while the guy wasn't looking while he was focused on the turrets and he couldn't basically hit the turrets I don't know for whatever reason it seems like no one can hit the turrets you know I wonder if it's my roof I actually wonder if it's the roof Huh, because I read something like, okay, before I ever started this particular series, um, I think it was, it was like right when I was starting the series, I was reading up on kill boxes and people talked about putting roosts in because it's a lot harder to hit your turrets. And there might be something to that because they didn't hit me. Huh. So the other thing I actually may want to do, I may want to put a wall. I talked about actually putting a wall up here so we could actually maybe put a couple of our guys there. Um, the only problem with that is they're going to be the focus of attention. So I think, let's go ahead and actually look at doing this for now. Um, let's put a slate wall like right... Nah, eh. Let's do it like right here. The problem is I don't want the enemy to actually use the slate wall. Let's do two. And we could always just hide one guy behind there. Need be. And I'm pretty sure, I think I want to put a couple turrets pretty close so then that's their focus and then they could almost have a fallback that might actually not be a bad idea yeah do you like a back door in here yeah 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 i like where this is going okay so we're going to do something like this and then a couple slate doors and this is going to be our back door into um this freaking area so we could like run our grenadier in here or something like that um we also probably are going to put... Yeah, let's put another slate door right here. So instead of there, he could come in here and flank around as well. Um, I don't want to put it right there. That just seems a little ridiculous. What would be really cool is if I could do pathways. And maybe it's because I've been doing too much Roller Coaster Tycoon recently. But it would be really cool if I could do like a walkway that goes over here and then he comes down here instead of going all the way around. But whatever. That would be cool to actually build elevation in this game. But eh. Someday. Um, I wonder why no one's growing here. Hey, Jesse. What's your grow at? You're at a one on Jesse. Your hunt is... Yeah, so... Yeah, how's our food doing? Our food's looking pretty good. Oh, you know what we could do? Our animals can go back on Gus. Let's put it back on Mr. Gus Man. Gus Man! Uh, where are all our animals? I uh, I guess we're just going to go through this way. So, peaches. Um, By the way, you know, I actually didn't even look. Did anyone take a hit? Because we sold... Rubba, blah 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 uh, at the end of the last episode we had a trade ship and i sold the animals that self tamed tamed and i don't know if we took a hit but it doesn't look like we did so we're okay um so labrador mr dude i need you to go back and take on gus please um animals i wonder is it worth oh i could just do it here is there a point to have a master or not have a master i don't understand this um Obedience, da da da, release. Adult. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's a reason to do that or not do that. I mean, it means they follow, follow Gus around, which normally I don't really give a crap. And in fact, I'd rather them not do that, you know, when we're being attacked. But I don't know. There's got to be something to that. I... I'm trying to remember. I could swear that either either in this patch or the next patch, they did it in such a way so that the animals wouldn't follow people into combat if you enabled it or disabled it. Although, I've yet to actually see that work either way. So, I don't know. Uh, we ended up killing all the boars down here. Oh, we missed one. Oh, we actually missed a couple. Never mind. Oh, there's... Actually, they moved all the way over here. Never mind. Um... Tuco is working on that. What are we What are we trying to get here? We just need the eight components, and we're able to build this. Hank, you're working on the power conduit, which is very needed. Um, I just need to get this freaking done. No, 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 no. I need you to work on that, please. Get my steel done, and then Walter, you're on this. 
I just really need to get this crap built, and then we're good. And you're going to keep doing that. Good job. Walter's currently building my geothermal, which is good. And so I just have this little tree done, and we're finally going to have our power back under situated. Okay. So we should... Can we talk about this, Jesse, right now? <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay, so we should be okay when it comes to power now. This is going all the way through, correct? It looks like it. So our power should be doing really fine. Um, we shouldn't be losing power, which is good considering we have a ton of freaking hydroponic basins. So, what else? We really need another, honestly, we need like another geothermal. I maybe drop a couple solar panels down here to be honest. That might not be a terrible idea. We could do wind turbines as well. I just don't like wind turbines. What? How much does a wind turbine generate? It requires a large space. It doesn't actually tell. Yeah, it doesn't actually tell you how much it produces. Huh. So the only other thing we could do is fuel, but I don't really particularly cared about fuel so is there any more research into different kind of power or is it just geothermal well okay that's true there is the this one I think it is which actually generates power as well for the ship so we might actually oh no it's the reactor there it is uh, research the where was it antimatter reactor so what do we need for this Antimatter containment core. So we need an antimatter containment core. Um, and then that actually gives you a lot of power as well. So anyways, cargo pods. What do we get? Muffalo wool. All right, that sounds fine. I'm okay with wool. I don't know. We're using cloth, I think. Yeah, yeah. We should have plenty of cloth, though. So that stuff should come together pretty quickly. Um, try and think what else would people build. We do need to get these walls finished, though, as well. So... Hmm. I think we're just going to leave him be. Because he should calm the fuck down. Is no one outside? No one's outside. Ah, uh, but he could run through the door. Ah, freaking hell. Alright, someone turn on my freaking turrets. Hopefully. Hopefully we can get this guy murdered here before my turrets die. Wow, that was almost <laughs> bad. <laughs> we kept missing. I hate Tuco. Before you do that, just flick the switch. Um, yeah, we're going to lose power again tonight. Even with my other second geothermal. Are we actually taking power from it? Combat suppliers nearby. All right. Yeah, it's all connected, so. Uh, hold steady. Hold true. Break down solar generator. Damn it. Can I actually have you fix this? You're not assigned to repairing. All right, I'm going to let her eat, and then I'm going to call these combat suppliers. Uh, yo, I need you to come talk to these people. I wonder if we should turn off some of these benches. Damn it. Ah! Okay, the problem is we have so many heaters as well. That's not helping our cause. Um... I don't know. I just don't know. How is... As long as this stuff isn't, like, straight dying, it actually looks like some of it's dying. Yeah, we just lost a bunch there. <sighs> Freaking hell, man. So, I think we need to build a couple more solar power. Just to get more power. To get as much power as possible. Uh, it's daytime, so once again, our power should be okay at this point. Um, the, the, the scary thing is we did lose some power, some plants, so we're slowly losing plants, and that's not a good thing. Um, hey, this is currently up, so someone call these guys. I, uh, they do have medicine now, but we don't actually have anything to sell them. We have five go-go juice. 182. The 36 is the exact same price, what we've been getting. Um, Trying to see, do they have any weapons worth it? 
They have an LMG. 749 Doomsday Frag Grenades. Uh, the problem is that they don't have any Neutronium, which is what I really want. So we'll just take that for now. Take a little bit of money. Um, do we actually have Neutronium? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it, so... Ah, crap. I mean, we're making some money off of it, but not as much as I would like, and not as quickly as I would like. I figured it was going to be a lot easier to make a lot of money off these drugs. It's kind of proving me slightly incorrect. Anyways, Walter's hopefully working on our walls and stuff. He's working on the back door, which I'm okay with. Uh, What else can we be doing while we're waiting? We, we do need to get more power up coming. Can you do construction, Tuco? I mean, it would be really nice. We have all this steel that's just, like, right there. So, And all these require are a bunch of steel and then components. Um, hey, what the heck? <laughs> He's hauling components. Actually, hey, just start all these. Just literally dump steel on every one of these. And then we should be okay for someone else to bring the crap. That combat supplier sure didn't last long. And then keep doing this one. I just want to get all this steel here while the steel is actually there. And hey, just finish working on that. And then we're good. And I'm not going to tell you to do anything else. Alright. Go do your thing. So now all these just need components. And then we need like three steel. So these are almost all completely done. The question is, what do our batteries look like today? Uh, not particularly great again. Walter, can I just have you fix this? Where are my components? I just need you to get this one done with, and we're going to be okay. Um, how's this area unroofed again? Damn it. Oh, because of this. Ah, interesting. So we have that generator done. Uh, we're going to lose power once again. This is terrible. Try that. And it looks like we lost our plants again, unless they actually mined them. They might have actually mined them, so. Maybe is okay. I don't know. But we're going to be... It's interesting how old, like some of this stuff turns off. Like, are my sun lamps are still on, which seems a little ridiculous. Like, why did my sun lamps not lose power, but everything else lost power? Uh, we really need to get this power fixed. Okay, so we're going to watch for Hank. Is Hank the hurt one? Yeah, Hank's the hurt one. So we're going to watch for Walter. Because I need to get Walter to build this stuff. How, what's your needs like? You know what, dude? You're okay. Come build this one. I need you guys just to work on this crap. Get these generators done with sooner rather than later. If we can get these actually going, like, today, while it's still sunny out. Life will be really good. Um, someone come pick this dead body up. Also, apparently, we need to go hunt a wolf. Walt! Dang it, Walt! You're doing the wrong freaking thing. Skylar, I need you to actually work on these. Alright, so we got one generator going. I'm assuming these are actually still connected to my power. I'm gonna be, <laughs> It's going to be hilarious if I actually miss something. He's building the solar generator. I'm okay with that. Work on that one. And work on... It's Hank. Tuco's a little slow on this, but that's okay. Uh, okay, I want someone to hunt really quick. Jesse, I want you to come... Come here real fast. I want you to shoot this wolf. We're going to try taking care of this wolf. I need someone to flick this on. Um, my power does look a lot better right now. Just FYI. And I want you to fire this timber wolf. Alright, I need you to run. Uh, it's probably not a good idea to go this way right now. Jesse, I would like you to come up here. Yo, doggy. Yo, doggy. Doggy. 
Come and get me, doggy. All right, we got the doggy. You can go do your thing again. All right, well, we just destroyed another wall. Ugh, freaking heck. <laughs> uh, o is haunt, so I need you to come. Not rescue, I want you to hunt this thing. Hunt. So we need a couple more walls up here. Security, no, structure. Slate wall, yeah. We should have slate, right? Slate blocks. We have plenty of slate blocks. We just need to actually work on it. Um, and part of it is we spend so much time working on that. So This is connected. Rate restored. It's just not outputting. So why is that dropping? Question. But then this one just says connected rate stored. Are these actually powered? They're not. Oh, freaking heck, man. That explains it. There we go. All right. Now we're actually powering. Oh, freaking hell. It took me way too long to realize that. Man. Wow, that sucks. Okay, we're fine, though. It looks like we're going to actually maintain power. Maybe. Maybe. We'll have to actually wait for the mar tomorrow. But once tomorrow happens, then we should be okay when it comes to power. And we shouldn't have this issue any future days. Unfortunately, we probably lost like a whole month's worth of crops. Um, I just need you guys to live just a little bit longer, please. Uh... Mine. No, I don't want to mine. I want a wall. Uh, we could actually have Tuku keep mining, but we're doing so good when it comes to mining right now. I'm not entirely sure I want him to. Uh, we got a group of travelers. That's fine. I mean, there are a couple areas here that I wouldn't mind going and mining. <sighs> what? I mean, I just wonder if there's anything worth mining at this point. I mean, I suppose we might as well go for the steel here. That's going to take a bit of time, and if there's nothing else, you might as well do that. Ah... <sighs> My power should be really good at this point, though. Yeah, see, now it's actually going up and down, and I think that's what it's supposed to do. So we'll have to see what our power looks like after today. Hey, we actually finished one of the bedrooms. I need you guys to all get hauled away, please. We actually finished two of the beds as well. So um, we can start moving people out of these beds. We only have, what, three more people this direction? So I just need to get this wall up before I actually work on that. Uh, what kind of floor are we going to do up here? I guess we're going to do green carpet here. And then I guess let's do blue carpet here. And what is the impressiveness of this? So the beauty is actually two. So carpet is not as beautiful as the freaking smooth tile, which is ridiculous still. But whatever. Um, impressiveness is mediocre. The wealth is 730. Now the question is, is the wealth any different? Somewhat poor. Yeah, it actually seems like carpet has a higher wealth. And it actually seems like it's almost more impressive because of that. Even though... Even though the beauty's a little bit lower, see it's 1.22, where he's got a rather nice room. But look at the wealth versus the wealth is the big difference, though. Like that's a poor-looking bedroom. Like none of these rooms have much wealth. This one does because it has all the artwork and statues. So I actually think like maybe putting cloth down carpet in this bedroom might actually improve it quite a bit. It'll lower the beauty. He's got a beautiful room. Oh, he's actually got an interesting bedroom now. Eh. So, are you taking the, the hit now? He's still taking a slight hit. <laughs> he's closer, but he's still taking a slight hit. Do we have another statue? Artwork? We do, actually. Okay. Cool. So, we got a grand sculpture. 
Um, what's this one? This piece bears a representation of a uh, nutty Mesa. The overall composition is a square. Civil philosophers smile off to one side. Uh, all right, that's a rather weird one, but sure. All right, so what I'm thinking is let us reinstall the chair here. Let us reinstall this here. And then I want to install the big one there. But we're going to do that next episode. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a like. Go ahead and comment. Give me any suggestions that you may have or um, what you guys think of it. And then, most of all, hit that subscribe button. Join the game comment. Share your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.